Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rocket League Grand Finals at Insomnia 57. The sheer number of people sat here that aren't in a massive long queue over there. Extra love to all of you guys, a lot of respect. We have a best of seven grand finals in store for you guys now. We've got TCA Esports sat off over here. Couple of supporters in the front row of the audience. We've also got Sector One sat to my right. I'm really glad you guys started cheering for a second because just for about half a second, there were two guys clapping and that was it. And I thought, hang on a second. It takes the translators a little while to work. These guys obviously flying in for it. Now they start with a one nil lead, sector one coming, I believe from the winner bracket, but we are going to a best of seven. So hopefully we'll just see some pretty awesome gaming to be honest. And fingers crossed it goes all the way to game seven. But before we actually begin and before I actually ask the teams a couple of questions, we spoke to them a little bit earlier, just to find out a bit more about everyone's route to the final. Check these out. Uh, up until the finals, our games were pretty easy. Uh, there was uh, TCA Esports, which kind of took a game off of us, but all the rest was a clean sweep. They scored quite a few goals against us compared to all the other teams. It was mostly... Um, I think one to three goals in total for all the other teams that were against us. So it was kind of, well, kind of an easy road to the finals, to be honest. It's my first ever LAN event that I went to, and it would mean it's like a, a gateway to bigger Rocket League events. Uh, it would mean a lot to win this event because it would reinforce the idea that I'm actually quite good at this game and potentially move on to do bigger and better things if I put more time into it. Going to the finals, are, the odds are against us, but um, we've managed to take games off them before, so we're going to see if we can do it uh, four times in a row and, and we're going to try really hard to uh, achieve this. Uh, we've come all the way home, uh, home from Belgium and we're not ready to lose yet. So we're going to take this home. All right. So both teams, of course, uh, in fighting moods, I have to say. Although something tells me Sector 1 are reasonably confident based on what they said over there. I'm going to go ahead and chat to these guys for a couple of moments. Now... You sounded pretty confident on the VT there. You guys <clears throat> obviously want to bring it back home. But you are playing against the only team that have taken games off you in this tournament. So presumably this final, even if you win it, it's not going to be a walk in the park. I think they've been holding back the whole time. And now is the time that they're actually going to you know, play their best. Yeah. Yeah. So you start with a one game advantage. Are you worried they might overhaul that? I'm sorry, what? You start with a one game advantage. Are you worried they're going to overtake you? Uh, no, not really, no. I, I, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty confident we're going to win. So they're going to play their best, but it's still not going to be enough. Yes. yes. All right, we'll see what the response to that is. Right, we've got a few, smart, a few snide grins over here, I have to say, this side of the room. They sound like they're pretty unbeatable at the moment, but like you guys said, you are the only team that have taken games off them. And, okay, you don't actually have to take it four times in a row. You know, you, you can let them have one or two, keep things interesting. How are you guys feeling ahead of the final? We're feeling pretty damn good, to be honest, and we're hoping to bring the fight to them. <laughs> bring it on, Sector One. <laughs> Fighting words. Is there any particular aspect of your game where you reckon you're absolutely, you've got the upper hand in terms of a team, or would that be giving too much away? Uh, I'd say it'd be the defense more than anything for me personally. Uh, I'm sure they're well aware. <laughs> well, you guys, uh, ho hopefully, if you defend well, you also scored more goals against Sector 1 than any other team in the tournament. So we'll see if you guys are able to take them down in the final. Players, best of luck. Make sure you have your noise defenders on, of course. And we'll be hopping into game very, very shortly. We're going to be throwing it back over to the casters now and getting the first game of the grand final underway. You guys ready for some Rocket League? Let's go. Hello and welcome to the casting desk. We're stood. We're stood. We're very ready. I'm Lou Bay and with me today is... Gregan. And Zoltan. And uh, a little bit of a seesaw of BM there from uh, Tree, who was first very humble about his position and respectful of his opponents, but 
then quickly took it back and said, you know what, not really that worried. Tell us about the strengths of our two teams, Gregor. Well, we're definitely seeing an underdog story here, and I can't wait to see what TCA can do. Both teams very capable of beating the other one in a game, as we know. Sector 1 have shown that they've got the upper hand going into this, and like Law said at the end there, they have definitely got a strong defense in TCA, but the problem is, in the past they've had, is they're not getting enough shots, not getting enough goal opportunities to make up for that defense. So I'm sure they're going to think about how they can be a little bit more aggressive, taking it onto Sector 1, but there's definitely an opening behind Sector 1's offense that sometimes arises, and it's up to them to take those moments and really win this game for them. I have to ask both of you, gentlemen. Uh, forecasts, we'll start with you, Phil. I think that, personally, Sector 1 are going to take this away, but I think that uh, there's going to be a bit of a fight put up by their opposition, who are obviously fairly common to coming into this themselves. They've made it this far because of their play, but Sector 1 already started with a one up yeah. Oh, we've already gone into kickoff now, uh, so you can talk about what you predict, Regan, as the thing goes on. So straight away, seeing Sector 1 with majority possession as TCA Esport will be riding it across the wall into their half. Good centering come out, but that won't be so much of a problem for soon. We will be sending it back into the other end for that counter attack. Good replay off the wound as not quite meeting that replay, but someone else is there to pick up the slack. Yeah, as we can see, there is Sector 1 have one game already in this. They get that for having a clean sweep to the final, so they have an advantage going into this. It's going to be tougher for TCA here, but great aerial plays from both teams here as they're progressing. Happy to go up and meet it well above their opposition, but so far it's looking quite even. I'm seeing, it is. A, I'm seeing a really, really strong offensive game so far from TCA, which is exactly what we've come to expect from them. So far in the game, I know that they were basically bragging a minute ago about the defense, but so far the ball has spent a lot of time in sector one side of the side of the pitch. Yeah, now we're seeing this pressure being really exerted in the orange half, but that's a great clear over the top, met up in the air by Eternal, and now Tree is going to try his best to make a play for his opposition, uh, but Zal actually intercepts that, seeing it to his teammate Laurie, he's going to pull that into the middle for a potential shot, but it is swatted away by Soon. This is going to be a feisty game. Yeah, dangerous game coming out here as the ball is being funneled around, and a good clear over one player, and now it's a two-on-one, and that will be quickly swept away, no problem at all there for Sector 1. Uh, what did TCA have to do here to outplay Sector 1 in their game? Maintain that defense. They know they've got a good defense. Don't change anything. If something works, keep doing it. Oh, we see Law comfortably going up that back wall and controlling himself in the air. Now he's going to try and take on the whole opposition, not quite able to complete that there. But if they keep that defense, the chances will come eventually. They just need to make sure Sector 1 don't score. And we see there a great save from Tree on the goal line, having to make another one last moment there. A very good defensive player, Iron Tree, opting for a slightly different car we don't normally see in Rocket League as well. I, I agree with you completely with that. Um, TCA, strong defense, need to keep it up, but at the same time, you're never going to win anything if you never score. You miss every every shot that you you don't take. You miss, oh, that's wise, yeah. fruitful words there. And uh, Sector 1, a uh, bit down on the boost front, it seems, as TCA are really driving it home on the aggressive attack. Nice little rebound there for someone else to pick it up, but Foul does not quite get the touch on that. Will come round for a second attempt, but sends himself wide, overextends himself, and now it's the two versus two as they try to poke it round. It's going to be a dangerous ball across, but will be cleared by Law. Yeah, great stuff off the wall there, but soon he's going to try and follow this through, and that's going to be driving into the net. All he's going to do is watch that as it rolls in. Oh, and he teases them. TCA completely overcommitting to that with a lack of communication. Both players leave the goal line and completely expend all boosts before. And that's just a really irritating goal to concede. Yeah, I loved how Soon waited on the line just to get that last little touch as he stared down his teammate driving towards him saying, this is mine, I earned it. I got this. You don't have to worry. This is mine. Yeah, Zal, a very aggressive defensive player. Probably the reason they've won a lot of their games because that defense is so important on their side. But like I said earlier, they need to make those chances. And Zal has definitely been that player. But there we see them leaving net and Tree just sends it high and wide. Now Atel's going to try and jump this away, but soon intercepts it. And this is the kind of offense that we'll see with Sector 1 this whole time. They are happy to just keep piling on that pressure side to side, taking those boosts, leaving them suspended in net. And now TCI have got a chance to send this shit. Uh, it's all good. Eternal sacks. Oh, so clean, so crisp. Just a little punt off the top. 
and he meets it past everyone. Clean sailing, the reverse aerial does nothing for it. Super sad. You also have to wonder about that demo. I mean, was that was that an offensive demo or is that just because of what he said? Perhaps it's a, a little... A bit too cocky. <laughs> perhaps a little bit of bumps going on just to prove a point. And that's a great long shot from Law, but sent away beautifully by Soon. And now we're going to see a bit of pressure piled on by Eternal as he dribbles this into the middle. But defensive Soon, very powerful there. Keeping that control as he goes for a long shot. That's going to loop onto the crossbar, but Law touching it away high. And now two of Sector 1 flying in. There's going to be a counter opportunity here as Law pushes out in the middle. Eternal and Law taking their time, trying to pass it between each other. And this could be a redirect as it just goes wide. Unfortunate there. Good effort though. They need to keep creating these opportunities for themselves. And he's up there to pick up the slack, but commits too hard and sends himself into the back of the net. I am a tree seemingly everywhere for his team in this game. A one man army. I've seen him have so much engagement, especially in this room. Yeah, as people have been actually crashing into him a fair amount as well. Exactly. It's like the uh, Sudder Widow for Pokemon, which is huge cut. And it's suddenly it's a dangerous animal. And there's a free net. Zhao misses a free shot. 30 seconds left. That could have been the game winner there. 1-1 one, one right now, 30 seconds to go. This is going to be a tense finish as we see these two teams. Constant shots, constant pressure. It's whether they can get it past that goalie. Otherwise, we're going into overtime in this first game. Uh, it'll be a sight to see. Not the greatest of clears as it centers it towards middle pitch. And Law will be coming up and a nice redirect off of that one. That will be met in the air by a tree. I think this is going to overtime right now, unless they can make an opportunity out of this, but no. Looks like we've got an overtime on our hands first game. This just shows how tense this final is going to be. As we see Zhao with a great kickoff, bumping his teammate in the way, but they're going to look to dribble it in. But they're very good at predicting those uh, kind of situations, these top players. They know exactly what's going on here. Lost a lot of pace on that dribble. Fortunately, puts himself out of the running for that attack. And they're going to have to wait for the next opportunity. Monopolizing the, bus, but, uh, monopolizing the boost as they go. Um, not quite managing to find anything fruitful for themselves. A lot of aerial play coming out from TCA, like compared to what we're used to. Normally it was just Zal who'd been making a lot of a lot of aerial plays, but now it seems like the whole team has kind of gone, yeah, these, these were the mistakes that we were making in early in the tournament, and now we need to get a lot more of them out. Yeah, now we're going to see a bit of pressure piled on as Law and Eternal push into the Orange Team half. There's a shot for Eternal, but Law is going to come in, and then it's tipped just high by Soon, who has managed to save his team from the first game going to TCA. Eternal is going to try and get a long clear here. Actually misses it, but there's plenty of time for Law to send this one away, as all three of them are now in defense, trying to cover. Oh, tree hits the top corner. Oh my god, is not able to do anything with that. And this is going to be a defensive shutdown by TCA, making sure that Sector 1 cannot achieve anything right now. Fantastic decision maker under pressure, and that's the rebound off the crossbar. Comes back down onto point. It's not over yet. The attack is still on, but maybe TCA fire themselves a counter attack. But no, it is secured back. There's no one on point quite yet. It's a dribble into the back again, sent wide. Yeah, now Law is going to look to try and clear this one out. They just need to get it out of their half so they can start refilling on boost and attack as a team. And this looks like that opportunity for them. Zal is going to touch this to the middle, try and continue the play. Imatree is going to try and accept this, and he's going to go up the wall here, touch it to the middle to his teammate. As you'll see now, there's going to be a shot opportunity. Oh my god, it's very good in the air, but Eternal meets it up there, taking that away from him. Law is the last man back and misses it. Two over commits completely as the ball reaches the roof. Unfortunate stuff in there, he might seal it away. He does! Second touchdown, and I am a tree. Sends a message. That's got to feel good, especially considering how cocky he was to begin. Backing up his words, showing you just how good a player he is. He was everywhere. I think we can safely say we've seen, seen these two teams competing. We've seen over eight games between these teams today and yesterday. They have upped their game for this final. They want this victory right now. They are hyping themselves up so much right now to make sure they entertain the crowds and get those amazing goals. But girls. the first match, the first, the first match to go match. to overtime, and it was all solid, just constant aggression. Constant well, if you were on that stage and there was that amount of money for play, I mean, you'd give it your all as well. I mean, both of these teams are going to be pretty happy right now. They've got £750 in the bag for coming second place. But if they win this game, they'll be adding 750 on top of that and taking away 1,500. So these are some expensive games right now in Rocket League. Probably the most money these guys will be playing for ever in their lifetime for a long time, right? <laughs> <laughs> I just wonder, yeah, their career's over after this. This is <laughs> so, it. You peaked. You yeah, peaked. you peaked. You're now going to drop off and, you know, well, become I'm a teacher. I am true to tell me, Ella, he's getting quite old for esports, so, you know.
perhaps this is the end. <laughs> but hopefully he can carry on and be no the MVP. No more computer games. <laughs> You're the one to decide for them. You can be the yeah, manager. Yeah. Right. Hopefully he will be the MVP like he was in that game, finishing it off upside down with those rhino horns, slotting it in bottom corner. Mm. Very good. What do we want to see more of? Aerials and demos. The Actually, I want to see more of the same thing. It I was all same. good. Always. It was all I good. I think we'd all be satisfied with another two games of that if Sector 1 won. And if we saw more games from TCA that they won overtime in the first game, and they were so close to taking that with Zao's miss at about 30 seconds, they just need to secure that goal near the end of the game to take that victory, and they will be golden going in to another few games. And here we go. Oh my god, firing it hard towards the net. And this is going to be a high intensity game, just like the last one, I'm sure. Good defensive rotations here by Sector 1, always having somebody near the goal and picking up all of the boosts available to them. It's, it's really going to be boost monopoly and uh, mechanics that are going to seal the deal here. Uh, demolition comes out and that does put one person down on the attack. TPA, TCA even, or rather have a lot of time to play with. A little bit of a pinch against the wall and that does not bounce in their favour. That one will though, TCA Esports sending that in a good position. Not the best juggle off of that one, and it does open up Sector 1 for the counter attack. Uh, see as TCA send me short on that one. And a nice cameraman, bit of clearance there. The cameraman was about to be taken out by the ball. Do you see? There is actually a camera flying around in the pitch. They cannot see it, but we are watching from a beautiful aerial view. And I think one thing we'd like to point out here is Law and Tree have a bit of history. They used to play together in the early days, and Tree used to be an offensive player, whilst Law was a bit more of a defensive player, so they know what strengths they have. And that rivalry, I'm sure, is coming out today. They're both trying their absolute hardest to prove a point that they have improved more than their, their old teammate. They're, they're rivals now, they're rivals. like Gary Oak and you, Ash Ketchum. Would you say early days the game is out, like, what, almost two years now? It's, it's nine months. Nine months. Is it really? Nine I thought it was way more than that. Nine months, Brendo. And here we see the Sector 1 back in their own half, a bit of time to try and take this one out. And Law trying to come in and intercept it. That's going to be high as Tree tries to guide it towards the net. Actually gives back possession to TCA as Eternal fills backflips in the middle. And now we see Law with a long shot opportunity. Sends it high. That's going to drop down in front of the net unless, oh my god, like he did, <laughs> unless, sends oh it away. Oh <laughs> my god. Unless, oh my god. Got him. Got him. It's a great name. Uh, opportunities here. And that's a really sneaky one, but Zal can capitalize. A bit of a sloppy defense switch up there from Sector 1 as Son moves ahead to go and get some boosts, but Zal just sneaks it in. Soon, so close on the goal line, tipping that high. I knew exactly what he was trying to do, use that crossbar to clear it out, but not quite able to react in time from TCA Zal's shot there. Well, sure, crossbar is always the MVP. Everyone knows that. Crossbar is always the MVP. And goes for a second follow-up, juggles it past, and does get the bounce off the crossbar. This will be sealed away. Not quite. It's a shame there. All the best intentions, but a bit too much speed on that, and where the ball was coming down a bit too slow. A little bit too high as well. Yeah. Great play down the middle of the pitch by Zalbert Tree, intercepts it, giving it straight back to Law. This is going to be a bit of back and forth until one team can take control, and that is the touch they need as Tree sends it into the middle. Soon he's going to try and tip this on, and she misses it as Oh my God tries to come in and finish it. I can't, I can't, <laughs> I can't you're not going to be able to say it. I can't, take it seriously. I can't. And oh, there we nice. go. Law! Oh, what an incredible goal! Laying down the law, striking that straight in. This is exactly what we saw from yesterday. He was the god tier of his team yesterday. Him well, and Zal really pulling out. Look at that sick filth. Again! <laughs> Again! Say that one more time. Look at that sick filth. Uh, no, it's, it's good. Lord just completely outplayed Sector 1. Just, just, eh, uh, you know. Got him. Got him. Here we go, TCA on huge hype right now. They've got the momentum going into this. There's two minutes left. They've got a two goal cushion right now. This is the most that they've ever had against Sector 1 with this much time left. They're going to look to utilize their defense that we know is so strong. Make sure they don't score. They don't need to change anything. And they have taken this game from Sector 1. Can they do it for this last two minutes? All that TCA have to do at this point is rely on what they've already boasted about their solid defense. Exactly. And they can just stall this game out and take the win easy. Easy peasy, but there's not going to be an easy victory when you're up against Sector 1. And now we're going to see Tree with a nice long shot. That's going to touch the roof, making it awkward for the defense. Tree tries to follow up, not quite able to, as Eternal is going to take this one down. Utilize that corner as it goes towards the middle. He's going to try and follow it through as soon clears it away, but that's still dangerous as Law comes in, hitting the wide shot, not able to make anything of it. The uh, time is running out, though. I'm a tree not looking to go down, down, go down. 
trying to knock it back straight back on the blue side, getting smacked away straight away though. Their defense is really solid and it looks like Sector 1 don't have anything to deal with it this game in any way. Yeah, TCA are going to look to do this throughout the rest of the series. Get that early lead and then all it takes is that defensive pendulum they have rotating round. It's like clockwork, you cannot get past it. It's a pendulum or a clockwork? Both. You said both. <laughs> I mean, a clock has a pendulum or something. It doesn't rotate, though. <laughs> I do rotate. But no. Rotations in play, you see. I'll defend you, Greg, and don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, you can say whatever you want, I'll, I'll respect you for it. Well, thank you, Greg. Now, Sector 1, slowing down the game a little bit, seeing if they can open up any opportunities for themselves. It can be done in 35 seconds, but TCA, more interested in just sending it wide. Quite have to take that, as it were. They're going to be playing a very deep goalie right now. Often in these kind of standard games, you look to push your goalie up to halfway. Dangerous game! But that is the seal there. Eternal Sacks diving in hard and finishing this game off. I don't think there's any way Sector 1 can go back around a three goalie, especially against TCA. The perfect rainbow arc of a ball falling down, and he finds the goal to the end of it. There's got to be something great for TCA right now, taking another game away from who, for many people, were the favourite Sector 1. 3-0 though, 3-0 exactly. is a convincing victory right now. Admittedly in Rocket League, once you've got that lead and you're starting to play those last few minutes, it doesn't really mean much if you score again because obviously Sector 1 are going to be overly aggressive right now to try and get those goals. So that goal was merely but an overly aggressive team letting one by. But that is definitely what they want to see as this game series goes to 2-1. 2-1, impressive stuff. But this is also, if you think about it, a repeat what happened when they met up in the group stages. It is, we know Sector 1 can have a bit of a blip every now and again, and that is definitely not what we saw there. That was TCA moving above and beyond what Sector 1 can do. TCA outperformed Sector 1, no doubt there, but we can see them all waiting. They know they can come into this. They're gonna completely forget about that, wash it out and try and play their game, which is a high, intense aerial game not allowing their opposition to get there first. But TCA, like we said, they're flying higher than they've ever flown before. It's got to be a bit of a put-down for Sector 1 now, uh, considering that the only thing that TCA said that they were going to be great at, exceptional at, was their defense, and then to get absolutely trounced 3-0 by the people who have already taken one game away from them. Yeah. yeah, some awkward balls and some great finds as well, really, just securing what needed to be done. Finding the holes where it was uh, opening up in Sector 1's aggr aggressive play style, and really just driving that advantage. Exactly what we need to see more of. It's those clears. I think those clears are the difference. We know they're good in defense. We know they're not going to let any shots go by without a good challenge. But definitely there, they were powerfully hitting it down into Sector 1's half to make sure that they have the best opportunity they can. And now we go. Well, we'll see if they've still got some of that magic juice left in them as we enter the fourth game. Soon meeting it in the air and just hitting it a little bit too high. Well, third game rather, but fourth, you know, in the suit. score. So we see Tree now looking to dribble it out. He is definitely capable Fantastic of dribbling. Fantastic chip! Will not be met by anyone else. That would have been mwah, beautiful. Now we see those high, long clears, forcing tougher save for Sector 1. As a Turner has a shot here, hits the post. His teammate's going to be there, hits the other post, and it goes through oh. the middle! You just draw, you need to draw a perfect outline of the mess you're about to make. And they do it perfectly there. The little one, two, three, third time lucky. The three-man man, man cannon, the alley -oop. That was perfect. These How guys are clearly ready for March Madness. If you were TCA right now, you would be so hyped for your performance. You are going to be on such a momentum train. You're going to be keeping the ball going straight into the orange team half. Make sure you get as many opportunities as possible. You look here, they're clearing long and hard where they can but it's going to be tough because Sector 1 can come back at any moment and up their performances. There we see a beautiful shot from Soon, just hitting the crossbar going wide, but there is still going to be that high pressure Sector 1 have been putting on this whole tournament. Yeah, and that goal, unfortunately, first one was conceded due to the fact that Sector 1 just didn't have any boost left. You know, they just, they just couldn't find anything left. Uh, it was already in a dangerous spot. That's really gonna, nice. That's oh. just going to go wide. If he'd got that second touch on that, that would have been another very spicy goal from TCA. They are putting it well into orange half now. Don't get that pressure on as soon. There's a powerful hit oh. right in the middle, but Law is on the goal line, able to save that. Zhao with that strong clear, making sure all attempt, further attempt from Sector 1 is no longer possible. Law really making waves for the team this game, showing his very, very strong defense and good clearing potential. Good bounce against the ball, not cleared especially well by Sector 1, as they find themselves chipping it forward 
across the point. Not met by too many of the players. And it is really, it's a flip of the switch. We're seeing completely change up of aggression. Complete slide, almost slipping it back into the back right hand side. Now we see Orange all on the offense here. All, all of the blue team had to track back there. Thankfully for them, they got back in time, but they're going to have to make as many opportunities out of these counter attacks as possible because they're quick at rotating back round. And great save from Iron Tree. No doubt he was going to save that. A very talented defensive player. Oh, as but can he be. save this? And he cannot. No, the hat trick. It's not a hat trick. It was a great goal, though. It's a second <laughs> goal. I'm getting carried away. Never mind. Law. What a man. He did have a little bit of help there from Zhao, guiding it up into him, increasing the power of that shot, making it very hard for Soon. Left on the goal line alone in that sideways position so he can get forward and back to cover as much of the goal as possible. But you have to react extremely Ooh. quickly to that kind of situation. Yeah, almost another slippery goal there. TCA. They've greased up the defense. It could be exactly what second one said. TCA holding back for the entire tournament and then snatch that money away at the end. Snatch the win. To the spoiler goes the cash prize and, more importantly, the bragging rights. But don't forget, they have to take one extra game from Sector 1 in this final due to that advantage of clean sweeping the whole tournament. And there's a lovely little touch from Tree, but Eternal recovers quick enough to guide that one away. Now, oh my god, is this going to try and stall out a bit of time, send it back to the middle, not quite able to get a clean hit. As Zhao sends that one long, making a hard aerial for Sector 1 to guide away. But look at this. Such a Great. Such elegance, such, such grace. Such Sky good Valerie. defense turning into offense straight away from both teams here. And that's a beautiful cross from Tree, not able to finish it. Soon attempting to come in, but Laura's now going to take his time, trying to clear this one away. Not before Oh my God comes in and tries to claw across that one. I really I can't handle you saying no, it at all. Ermagerd, Ermagerd. I mean, take it to sector one right now. TCA East Force's defensive line must just look like a massive brick wall. In fact, the goal was, must just look like one of those quidditch shoots. Yeah. You can't get it in. <laughs> Quidditch They're trying to play golf with a basketball. Right? That's basically what happened. They're just not able to get it. The defensive line is required for them. And the demolition opens up a little bit of time for the offensive play. Downward swipe. Not enough though. Now Zhao is going to try and tip this over the defense. The back foot there from Sue, who loses all his momentum, but in the end he recovers and sends that one away in time. They're going to try and slow this one down. Give a bit of pressure opportunity. It's all the second one. And now pushed up that side. Oh, he's going to take a good shot on net. That just goes wide. He's going to follow it up. Again, that's going to be high in front of the goal. Law's going to have to drop this one down in front of net, not able to get up in time. As we see the rotation system, TCA don't have to worry about getting those errors, and someone is there already. So a really, really strong offensive play for TCA right now. No, that would have been too easy. Not too safe defense. I'm not going to get past that. The wall just hammers them. Hammers in this game. Hammers. I, I feel like we've looked away for a brief moment and suddenly 30 seconds left. Two goal lead. It's going to be hard for the second one to come back. We saw them last time. All that TCA have to do is hold that defensive line they have and then it's golden. Absolutely everywhere. Law cannot be stopped. That aerial snap. Oh! And, and they get it. It's real. Deja vu is the word that comes to mind right now. 2 0, hold out the defense as well. Tilt boys! So, one word? Deja vu. One word? Deja vu. Oh, I would, I would be so <laughs> tilted right now. Look, um, Sector 1 are just going to have to watch this out of their minds. They've had these situations before. They've played off the league a long time. I'm sure they've had to come back before. So, this is what they're going to have to do now. It's a mental game now for Sector 1. Remember how they play when they play well. They've never had two games taken away from them in one series, let alone when they've only taken one themselves. That's going to be seriously more than There is a story of when David slew Goliath, and I think we're going to witness that today, friends. It's going to be beautiful. You think it's going to be the TCA sweep? I do. I think it's going to be the TCA reverse sweep. The complete, like, you know, back of the leg, no mercy, beat them while they're down. It seems like Sector 1 put a lot of... You know, Gusto went it and, you know, we're going to win and everything, but maybe, you know, practicing that little speech could have been done practicing the game. Question. It seems like going into a lot of it. They've got two headsets on, haven't they? One around the neck. Yeah. It's a fashion symbol. I think Why don't we have two casting headsets? Huh? I think they've got one for the game and one for protection. Because apparently... One to death and they can't do the other well, thing. I, uh, yeah, you can do that nice but... What in the Ridiculous fashion? chat. Ridiculous. Yeah, Why? No, it's, it's great. But anyway, there tell, was a tell dame me, just TCA, saying. If you put yourself in TCA shoes, I heard they have rather big shoes right now, so like, just try and imagine you've got big feet anyway, so it's not a Thanks, bro. It's okay. Uh, now tell me, TCA, how are you feeling? 
Pretty good, pretty good. Our defense is getting better. They were super humble guys. It's like you didn't even pay attention. Yeah, are you gonna crush them? No. You, no, no, no. Crush them? Do it. The defensive wall just absorbs. Just absorbs. Uh, sector 1 needs to pick up their game if they're gonna have any hope. What Sector 1 needs to do right now is utilize their passing plays. I haven't seen them stringing many passes together. We've seen them all day long aerial passing plays, and that will draw a goalie out of TCA's net, allowing him to get a shot. But Law oh. with an early shot saved by Oh My God. Oh, I love it. Uh, good clearance is out, but it's immediately replied with. TCA just seems to be reading everything that Sector 1 are doing. See TCA looking for a nice ball riding ball across. Does give them a lot of time to get into an offensive position and take control of those boosts. TCA doing a very, very good offensive job keeping the ball in second one side. Consistent shot this time. Oh, very closely done. Not the clearance he wanted. Didn't even meet the ball on that one. And sector one are looking sloppy in their defense. Tree is going to clearly get that one away as Eternal flies up. He's now suspended in that half. TCA know this. They're going to cover back as Eternal returns to try and get his boost. That is the rotational system we know. Com Sorry, I apologize, but completely overcommitting to that aerial sideways. An unnecessary play, really, to be made. Zal shoots himself just above that one and puts himself out of commission for a few seconds while he recuperates from that ball. Ball staling out most of his time here in the centre pitch. Just enjoying the ride. It's a great pass from Tree down to Sue. He ends to go for the clear, but Law is waiting back. We know they have a deep defensive system, making sure no goals are scored upon them. If you don't let a single goal in in Rocket League, you cannot physically lose. <laughs> That's what they are attempting to do right here. Eternal chipping back to his teammate, setting him up for the aerial. Law putting it into the middle for an aerial. As Eternal is already there. This is the kind of stuff we want to see Sector 1 doing. Chipping it to and fro between each other. They're just not attempting to do that right now. So you're telling me, if I don't concede goals, I don't lose. You'll never lose if you don't lose, is well, what you're saying. There's no draws in Rocket League. Overtime. Oh! Okay. Six to one. Punishing a little bit of a lack of no, boost of defense. But this is going to make it a lot easier for Sector 1 right now because TCA's tactic throughout this whole series has been we score, we defend. That doesn't work now. They cannot defend for the rest of this game because they need to make an opportunity now. They need to be a bit more aggressive to try and score that goal. And you never know, three minutes to go, there will be plenty of opportunities. We see them very powerful in their offense right now. That's the boost sector one needs, the mental mindset they need now to take on this opposition. Yeah, sector one have got their foot in the door. Can they force it open though? This TCA Sports need to find themselves an equalizer or put themselves behind. TCA going for a pretty unique defensive stance here. All three members of the team in the orange side could have landed them in hot water and it could have given Sector 1 another goal. They're very lucky that they didn't have to push the monopolizer. That's the strategy right now though. They're going to have to keep pushing up that last player. That is one more player to pass to. There we see it popped up right into the middle back to Sector 1. They are giving the possession back in a dangerous place right now as Zal and Law have got an opportunity to make an offensive counter but instead they give it straight back to Sue who pushes it towards the middle. And this is going to be a little ping pong phase right now as Sue try, tries to pass it back to his teammate. But that could be dangerous as there's an opportunity! Dangerous game, Eternal Sacks! Sealing that one away. That was some that was some low-level gold play. That was uh, low-level gold. <laughs> like you, you just rolled it in from the side. You expect to see that sort of thing. I mean, gold. we saw Sue trying to pass it back to his teammate Tree. It unfortunately took an awkward pop off that corner, meaning the goalie was not able to clear it away as initially intended, and that allowed a cross to be made and a free shot with no goalie back. He's doing a lot of ball running this this round. We haven't seen that much from him. I tell you what we haven't seen a lot of. We haven't seen much passing. Passing, very important between these two teams. That's what manipulates your opposition. It keeps them moving where you know where it's going, they have no idea. That's the whole idea of passing. Make sure you keep them changing their car direction, make them out of position. And a good chip across here will be met and it's cleared away nicely by M3. It just seems that every time they get the clear that they want, TCA are there to push it right back in their face. They've moved, up, they've moved that defensive line up all the way up to the halfway marker, and they're just looking to keep it in sector one side of the goal. Yeah. This is TCA. Still on the approach. Haven't changed their 
tactics up at all, really, waiting for the second one to make those mistakes that they've witnessed they have been doing. Uh, this may be the second game to go to a extra time. That's going to drop down just in front of the goal, but soon going to try to tip that one away. But there's definitely an opportunity for a tunnel here, but Tree comes in with a great block, close range to the ball there. Now we see the offensive counter. 40 seconds left. This game is very close right now. Oh, with the immediate return there. Yeah, it will have sector one completely running ragged. Trying to get that second goal through for them. They do not want another overtime, and they do not especially want to lose that overtime, because that may just be the nail of the morale coffin. Law looking to cross this one in hard. There's no one on the goal line. Can someone make the shot? But he just hits the post. That's still in a dangerous position. Sam comes in! Oh, 2-1! Phenomenal play. To go. Phenomenal play. Nine seconds left and he puts it away and sends a message. Sector one must be feeling awful right now. Sign seal delivered this game is going to PC. There's nothing they're gonna be able to do in nine seconds. So oh, okay. like you've seen it, but not against TCA's offensive play. Zal is the hero for TCA no. today. He has been making so many goals last moment, but here we see one second left. I'm a tree that's going to guide us towards the wall. Can someone find that angle to put oh. it in? But Laura's cleared that away. This should no doubt be the end of the game. And it will be. Another game for TCA. Equalizing it against Sector 1. 2-2. Two, two. Spikes it. 3-2. Two, two. Two. This means that TCA have taken oh, yeah, the Yeah, that's the third. So there we go, one game advantage going into this. Sector 1 in this series on the stage have a behind 3-1 to TCA. The whole score, due to that one extra that they got beforehand, is 3-2. So there's just one more game for TCA, two more for Sector 1 to take this victory. The underdogs have come into the lead. Were they ever really underdogs? I, I think we have to say They have their fans. They've played two, game, two series against each other beforehand, both of which have been 3-1 to Sector 1, where that one game that they lost was due to a blip in Sector 1 system. But today, it's not the case. TCA are putting an offensive pressure that we've not seen yet today that is making them win against Sector 1. Not that Sector 1 are letting them win through bad plays. Well, we know who you guys want to win. I mean... I, I'm, just, I'm just overall thoroughly impressed with the quality. The, Fantastic play. Both have upped their game knowing this is definitely the final we wanted to see. There's so much more pressure from both teams than we've ever seen before. The defense has been incredible. The saves. Well, for the first time ever, everyone's a winner. Is actually true. Rocket League is the winner today. Some are more winners. Yeah, some are bigger just bigger winners, winners than others. Winners. And that is, that, that is the truth, really, isn't it? So this game is the last for TCA if they win it. But I'm sure Sector 1 will not go down without a fight as we see the pressure instantly put onto Sector 1 from that kickoff. But I'm sure the tables will turn multiple times during this game. You could see Sector 1 point back and take this and could be on for the 7. Definitely could. Um, sector 1 in good position, stalls out the ball for a rebound but doesn't quite have anyone else there to make a difference on that one. And a nice spike towards the goal to be cleared away. Wow. Bounce back. Counter attack now. Playing it off the wall. Does get a very good angle on it. And it's a Ooh. difficult one to save, but Law. Law does it. He finds a way. The law always finds a way. I am the <laughs> law. Judge, jury, and executioner. Good and save. Keep, and keep. Good save by Oh my god there, taking away TCA's opportunities. And we're just going to see every player on the pitch saving, shooting, passing. Everyone has to do something in this game. We cannot rely on leaving one back or one up. As we see a demo from Eternal, meaning soon was the last one back, but he does get the clear he needed in the end. That's what I want to see, more offensive demolitions. Very good punch, and he sets himself up for another rebound, hoping his team will come in from behind. But no, the counter-attack comes off now, and will be quickly shut to the way by Eternal. Teo Eternal has stood out for me so far. He was not the weakest link in the team. He by far definitely had his part in the team, but he did play an important role, but he has been pulling out some incredible Triple plays. Triple threat! And Zal! It was the third time charm again. Two players sail over it. One, two, three. All of Sector 1 not expecting them to miss such an easy target. That and roll by Saxon expertly executed. I have to say, the power behind every shot TCA is doing is so unstoppable right now. It's making the reaction save incredibly difficult for Sector 1. 
and this is just going to be the format for the rest of this game. Keep that pressure on, make sure no goals are scored. We haven't seen a goal scored against TCA except for in that last game for the past four games, including this one. So hopefully they can keep that up, keep that defence going, and make sure we never see a goal from Section 1 for this rest of this series. And that would be them going away with an extra £750 from multi-plays. A wonderful sponsor, but no! Law on the goal line! I'm sorry, I can't say, I can't agree with you that um, well, what am I going to say? <laughs> law. No, no, not, not law. It, 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 uh, eternal. Eternal. I wanted to say scoundrel because I'm saxophone. Saxophone. Yeah. Yeah. Eternal Saxon. Yeah, eternal. I, I can't agree with you that Sax is the standout player. Oh, oh yeah. soon! With the equaliser at 2 minutes 39. As I was saying, I cannot agree with you that he's scoundrel. <laughs> eternal. Eternal, eternal Sax. Eternal Sax has been the standout player. But law has been putting so much work. He's every defensive mind. He is he's the reason. Saves already yeah. by the law. He is the reason they're still in this. But we say that as it's 1-1 one, one now, that incredible shot from soon. We cannot take that away from him. Very powerful, hard to save. That's what they need to give us TCA. And now we see Tree coming in through the middle. Oh, and what happened? Tell, tell me, what happened to the defensive line there? Zal cleared it straight to Iron Tree. He decided to opt for that high. Chip and Chase, I like to call it. Chip and Chase followed it up, clipped it just over Law, who overcommitted to that. Perhaps if he waited on the line, he would have had to do a reaction save, but it's very risky to stay on your line when you've got shots coming in from Sector 1 like they have been so far. And with just under half the game left, I'd say the pressure is probably building for TCA to make play and get themselves that win now, not trying for the next game and give Sector 1 a chance to snag victory. Amazing hits on that one as that sends ball really high paced into the back line. And all they can do is stop it. Nice little touch here, plenty of time to play with it. Does get sunned away there. Great little tip from Tree as this goes into the blue half. Very dangerous. This could be the goal ceiling. Good victory. Tree with that angled shot. That could be the victory seal. Two minutes left. 3 1. And this is looking good for Sector 1 right now. Now they pulled out the stops and they are forcing the angled plays a lot more. TCA have got the answer for it. I think TCA need to get back to their, their defensive roots and kind of form the wall again if they're going to have any hope of pulling this But how can you roots when he is the tree? Not now. Not now. Not now, Clarence. Be strong for Lama. There we see a clear sector one straight into the tree's path as he tries to go towards the goal. Instead he goes to the corner, he's going to come up the wall and try and come in and get the shot down. The law able to save that one away as the pressure is still on from sector one. Zhao gets up nicely there, but turn has to stay on the line. As so you can't say another now. shot. Thank you. It's all right, you've got I, 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 broke, I, I, I break things. Tree touching it back to his teammate Sue. Gets a nice free long clear, but it is taken away by TCA sending it in as Tree hovers in front of net, guiding that one away to the corner. Taking away the opportunity, Zal comes in and it's saved by Oh my god, and we see Sue in away. Oh my god, what a save! It's his fault, it's his name, mate! Soon taking control, guiding it down towards the side as Eternal comes in and intercepts it. But there's a long shot from Erm. Erm. And this is pressure right now, Sector 1. One minute to go, they've not stopped shooting. And now we're going to see a chance for Soon to glide it towards the middle with Law, covers it and glides it away. TCA going to have to be super aggressive now to come back with those two goals. As we see Sector 1 stalling out time, just trying to make sure they take this victory. And it may well be a 3-3 equaliser for the final, final round. The second one offense this game has just been relentless. They've kept the ball consistently on TCA's side. So, and if they keep up, we're going to snatch the next game. But here we see an opportunity as that goes towards the goal. That's going to go in. It's and not it's saved. And it's not. And it's away. That that nice clearance by Armagur. That's horrible. That is. Oh, that's just awful to watch. Those balls when they just trickle past. And you know there's nothing you can do about it to get behind it inside. Good punt across there. But Laura is off point for that one. But another diagonal ball that will get dealt with. Like and another, that. a third one that will also get dealt with. Eternal. Everyone had a chance on that one. Everyone from TCA have to show their defensive colours for the three diagonal balls. Today. Unfortunately, third time of chance is not the case of second one. Wonderful. Wonderful. Take that third game. My goodness, what a game. Sector one putting constant pressure on. That's the sector one we've heard about. That's the one we've been telling you about. That's the one they claim to be. They are looking to put that pressure on constantly. Are you their hype man now? 
Well, you've got to That's remember... the ones we've been telling you about right here at Insomnia. Well, they're the ones you got to look out for. They're the ones that have been here. They've been, they've done the ropes. The they've, been, they've took a few punches, but now they're back. And this they're bigger is the than beginning. ever. It's back. And it's bigger than ever. Live at Insomnia. Welcome to the main stage, friend. Rocket well, League. the stage. <laughs> <laughs> but that's like, this is great. This is the grand final now. Grand final, final game. The this final game, game the is the round. one that will get them the prize money. Whoever takes this game is the winner. And we know both teams have the capability now. Sector 1, come back into that game with a lot more pressure. TCA, still very good in defense, but when you've got that many shots coming in from Sector 1, it's hard to keep them all away. And they managed to put three in. Both teams, when they are scoring, it is due to great play. There's very few mistakes coming out from either team right now that is giving opportunities. So let's see how they do in this final game. I'm hoping for overtime right now. Uh, overtime would be the dream, the ultimate heightened finale. I imagine if we're going to come anywhere close to overtime, both of our teams are going to be very stressed. And wouldn't you with this much money on the line? Oh, oh an early slow on the line. All three will punt it back, but then Sal. Sal comes out for the save. Oh, that could have been awful for the start for TCA. That is the defense they claim to be. Incredible stuff. Two people holding off an aerial barrage and then the last bib save diving across. But that could have been an opportunity for Eternal, not quite able to finish it. This is the final. This is what we want to see. Philip? Barrage. Barrage. <laughs> barrage. <laughs> barrage. Barrage. And for those of you who don't know what that word is, check underneath your seat, you'll find your thesaurus. <laughs> Here at Rocket League, we provide the sources as part of the job. And Sector 1, uh, not finding the ball on this one. Yes, uh, just sit, quite happy to sit back and wait for TCA to take their shot so they can go on their counter attack, which they will do now, increasing the pace. It does get sent away though. So. Some seriously passive play from Sector 1 so far that I'm not normally used to. Where is the team? There, there they are. The Lord appears from nowhere. That's what he's doing. They're looping back round from that far side. But that's a great shot. Oh, just going high. Far, no. It the, will be cleared. The law must be able to read minds. He's always diving in the right position as Sector 1 shoot. It doesn't matter if he has to make an impossible save. He will try and make it. And a Good. lot of the time it's working for him. Good dribbles coming out from Sector 1. Almost plays it past two of the players from TCA. They'll be looking to Forcibly keep that ball instead of pitching a nice on target shot. It's a difficult one to save, but well, he, he does, does it. it. The law is the man. He is the reason right now that Sector 1 have not scored. He's on that line waiting every single time, saving it. He's not just saving it though, he's making sure there is no follow up shot, guiding it away to those corners, guiding it far and long, and that's the difference right now for them. They are making sure no follow up opportunities are available and not getting clamped down in their own half. Some seriously strong game in the line. He does seem to know. What's going to happen right before he goes? Are we sure you can't see their screen? I mean, if he could, he's, in, he's, really good. <laughs> he's inhuman. If he could watch their screen and predict what they're going to do. Goddamn screen peekers. And Law with a beautiful shot coming in, making that one nil lead halfway through the final game of this best of seven series to take away 1,000. 500 pounds. He just got a bit of a kiss to it. Yeah, they just gave it, just gave it a Saw so there was no one back. We didn't have to do anything too crazy. He just had to touch that one in, make sure it was over that line. Show me on the ball where he touched you. God, why? <laughs> Lord, just skidding around in front of Ned, just reguiding himself, got a bit of time, and again, predicts those hits, gets those dunks on every player he comes across. Now Zal is left in the corner, not letting it go across in front of that net, as that's where it's dangerous, but that's going to bounce into the middle. Law has to predict it, but it doesn't! Oh, oh no! We jinxed him, we jinxed him. We jinxed him. Some Never. seriously nice passes there. Never has a name been more appropriate. Ermagur with a nice directional shot. Perfect cross, textbook now, stuff. Now let, him say. now let him say, what's the name? Ermagur. <laughs> The law had a very awkward situation there. Not the usual crossing system you might have noticed has been going on most of this game. He decides to go for a more uh, angled shot onto that back wall rather than using the angle of the corner. Made it very hard for Law to predict where it was going. But he almost got there, so that just shows you how close the law is to defending these very tough situations. Oh my god, read it perfectly though from an offensive position. This is the final game. I keep saying it, but we couldn't have hoped for a better final right now. I feel like you're just trying to make the name shorter and shorter and in a minute you're going to be like, OMG. OMG. <laughs> yeah, just got to make it easier to say every single time. Yeah, it's 
sector one, forcing into the side. Not a great answer, but it will come back to centering and be met. With a nicely directed aerial off of a rebound for the players. Counter attack maybe in order as they kick on the buffs, and he bounces it round one, chips it round the other. Hopefully, and unfortunately, no one else from TCA is there in. No. Good play though, sending a message. It's not about getting the goals, sometimes it's about sending a message. It's about getting the goals, yeah, let's be real. Let's be real. At this stage, goals is what they need. One minute left, one all. This could be an overtime final game. I'm sure everyone in the crowd wants to see the tightest of finishes right now. Good ball, it's going to be, oh, slightly missed. That would have been an awful thing to deal with in TCA. I, I almost got that for a second they were trying to do the, the TCA three-man jump on it, but no, it's just a miss. The classic Moore, TCA. Predicting that ball, that's going to drop right in front of the net as that hits the ball in the corner, but not quite able to. This is so tense right now, 30 seconds coming up, and TCA are in offensive position right now. They're going to try and make something of this soon, leaving his teammate to clear that one away. With 30 seconds remaining on the clock, it's all to play for. Both teams will be going rather aggressive at this point, trying to see that way. Nice directional shot, but it will be cleared long. I wonder if we're going to see that another cheeky nine-second goal from TCA again. Yeah. Heartbeats pounding, adrenaline must be running high with the last 10 seconds approach. They want to make something happen here. Sector one with the power. Direction it in, doesn't quite get the touch, and Law will be trying to send it along. This is dangerous right now. All it needs is one way to come in and finish this off. TCA touch it away. This is going to be overtime and now. It's overtime for the, the final. Overtime final. Very nice. I'm with a 3,000 pound prize. So 1,500 going to the winner and 750 pound going to second place. Both teams here are winners, just we're going to see which one has the skills to get the bragging rights. So Law looking to cross this one into the middle, Tree pushing this one out, but they dunk it back into the middle, no one there to finish it off. Soon, going to try and take this one out, turn on misreads it up the wall, as soon as he has a shot in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tries to take the shot, and the area will be met. Be... Oh, what a save! Zal, what a man, what a man, what a mighty big man. And then the shot of goal! No! no, no, no Tries to read it! No, and it goes in! Take it! Take it. Take it. Oh, oh, final game overtime! Sue! Law! My and, goodness! And you can see the big reds and the angry eyebrows. They never had a minute of doubt. For it except for finish, all of it. For it to finish that way after such good defense and having a slow moving ball that they have to watch as their hearts sink. That's a dissolving. The dissolving goal. Something that dissolves. The ball almost spinning on the line there. It was spinning on the line for a good second. Dissolving like their hopes. I, I don't think anyone is going to be disappointed on stage right now. I think they're happy just to be part of such an incredible final. These two teams, by far and above, have proven themselves to deserve to be on this stage right now. And I think TCA has shown us what they've got. So you are their hype man. I want to I wanna mm -hmm. ask uh, if we can see, can you hold out your hands, guys, on stage, see if they're shaking? I'm sure they are. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, I can't believe that went that way. We were not expecting that. Oh, no. Sector One come in, giving it all the talk, saying they're the best team. We've seen they are the best team. They've proven it throughout the tournament. And they've just proven it now. And they've just proven it now, but such a close game. TCA hyped up their ability for that final. and uh, I They never had a second still. That's, that's what all the bragging was at the start. That overtime, all planned. Now, calculated. question, did they deserve the win? Definitely, both teams deserved the win. Of course they did, Definitely. they got here, they got here. But let's take a look at the highlights of our matches today. What and amazing play shall we see now? What amazing plays do we have in store from us? Highlights from our series. I wouldn't be surprised if we just see all the games one. back again right now, because that was a highlight for me, that whole series right there. Oh, that play from Tree there as he saved it, so, many times on the line. Boom, look at those overlays. You don't get that quality anywhere else. Goes for the air juggle here, but this is the slow teetering goal. The one that will get driven home by the lack of defense there. And this one. Which one's this one, Greg? This, oh. Oh! RuneScape! Yeah. No! <laughs> oh my goodness. That one. Okay. It's us. That was a highlight of us being it's crazy. Us. And now we see Law with that long shot, which eternal touch just to the side. Not quite able to finish it. Some incredible plays there. Oh, Look classic. Good. I remember Falcors. Good guy. Really great saves. Some highlights here. Well done, boys. They come out and round. Ah, oh, just 
you know what's really nice to see here is saves and a highlight reel. Oh, that was goal that was beautiful to win that game there. To see so many overtime games, it's just crazy. And I imagine so much stress for both teams. But, you know, I imagine the amount of money they just won takes a lot of that over. And I, I think we can safely say both teams were incredible during this. That game, when Law did that tip, was amazing. I think there's one thing we all hope right now, that we get to see these two teams back again next Insomnia. Yeah, well, and that's exactly. all we have time for, in fact. So on behalf of us here on the casting desk, I've been Lube. And I've been Zoltan. And I've been Gregor. Back to you. Jorasar! Thank you very much, guys. And before I say anything else, can we all agree that was an amazing grand final? Come on. I was joking before we started, God, I hope we actually get to a Game 7. We got to a Game 7. It wasn't enough. We went all the way to overtime. I think both teams will agree it could have gone either way. Absolutely nail-biting. But imagine if it was for you. Imagine what it was like for you guys and for me, these guys over here. Guys, I mean, I don't really know where to start. You lost the first game in the Grand Final. There are obviously a ridiculous amount of nerves there. Before we talk about any of the final saves or anything like that, talk to me what it felt like when you guys were 2 0 down. Uh, it was quite intimidating, actually. At first, we were trying to get ourselves psyched up, like, come on, we can do this. We, we've put games past them before, we can do it again. And um, we started talking to each other more, get into position, do this, do that, and we really pushed for it. And it turned out well. <laughs> And when the comeback started happening, I'm pretty sure I'm echoing the thoughts of everyone in this audience when I say, how the hell are you guys already airborne intercepting shots before the shots are even made? That's not actually possible. Whose minds are you reading? <laughs> We're just psychic that way. We're just, you know, that's how it works. <laughs> right. Get Four games later, we're, we're up at 3-3. Three, three. We're going into overtime on the very, very last game. At what point, when you started turning around, did you think, actually, we could win this, we're gonna be able to take the fight all the way to them? Like, at what point did the belief sort of get switched on and you guys really powered home? Because you guys looked very, very strong in those middle games. Yeah, after we put uh, first game past them, that's where it first started clicking. We said, look, we've, we've just put one past them, grand finals, let's do it again, let's push, let's do this, let's go for it. Then we got another one past them, push harder, uh, what are you doing there? Great, do that again, let's do this. And we just worked with it and pushed it forward. <laughs> it's really, really unlucky. Esports can be cruel sometimes, and that, that entire series was quite literally knife-edged. Unfortunately, you haven't come out the victors this time around, but God, did you give them a run for their money. And any words for your opponents, mate? Great games, guys. Uh, it was fantastic, and I hope we can do some more in the future. TCA Esports, ladies and gentlemen. Right, and at the end of the day, to the victors go the spoils. You guys, sector one, ladies and gents. How? After being 3-2 down, after watching TCA take three games in a row, your heart must have been up here going into that second last game. Well, yeah, they put up a great fight, and I think we kind of underestimated them, and being up here in front of all these people on this big stage, it's kind of nerve-wracking, but they, they played really well. They had a lot of shots. Their defense was really solid. It could have gone either way, actually. When they were saving all of your shots in midair, sometimes four, five at a time in 10, 15 second intervals, how much swearing was going on on the comms? What, what, what were you guys thinking you had to do to get a goal past them at that stage? Well, our problem was they were following up very well. If, if one of their teammates uh, gave them a pass, they were already up in the air to redirect it. And that was our problem. We, we kind of passed it out into the field, but couldn't really follow it up or had a bad pass. And that's where they took over and, and, and had a lot of shots. Well, you just about managed to squeeze it home in the end. Overtime final map. And that goal, of course, means you are champions at Insomnia I-57. You guys flew out here for this tournament. You said, hey, it was a pretty easy part to the finals. Probably wasn't that easy a final, was it? How are you feeling right now? I'm really hyped. This, this event was completely awesome. We've played two days 
had a lot of fun, had a, a lot of cool games, had uh, the chance to uh, meet new people, make new scrim partners for the future maybe. It's really, it's really fun, yeah, I, lo I love it. All right, well congratulations to you guys. You walk home champions here, Rocket League at Insomnia I-57. Ladies and gentlemen, Sector One. What an incredible finals we've had here. And that, of course, concludes our coverage from Rocket League and on Saturday here on the eSports stage at Insomnia. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock for the grand finals of Dota 2. I've been Joris, our stage host for basically all of today. I hope you guys have enjoyed all the action. You've been fantastic. Thank you for sticking around until the end. And we'll see you guys in the morning. Good night.